Hi there, I thought I'd bring you another wig review. This is a gorgeous, gorgeous wig in a beautiful silver color. So this is actually a Paula Young wig from their Couture collection. And that's kind of their higher end, a little fancier, a little more fashion forward collection. And right now it is on clearance. So I got this one for I think about $60 and you can usually get free shipping or if you sign up for their email list you can get coupons and stuff but let's talk about this wig so it is a lace front and it is also a hand tied wig which is what they call it um, and that means that there's not wefts here on the sides or the top so you can part it anywhere it is a monofilament wig not just a mono top so the monofilament comes to the side so this is the wig straight out of the box, and you can see it is a very sleek angled bob, and there's no poofiness at the top. There are no bangs. So I haven't brushed it yet, and it's got that part that comes from the manufacturer that's like a zigzag. But you wanna brush that out, because this is monofilament. And then just part that wherever you like so you can see it's a very long angled bob and it is very much um, forward so if you don't like that you can pin it back or you can sort of train it with a little bit of hairspray my glasses tend to hold it back so it's not a problem for me but it is a very lightweight fiber that they call whisper light um, at Paula Young and that just means it's lighter weight and it is a cancalon fiber and it is not heat safe so you can't style this one with any hot tools but you could um, curl it under using a steamer if you want it let's go ahead and do a 360 So this is a pre-cut lace front, which means you don't have to do anything straight out of the box. It's ready to put on. And you don't have to glue it down unless you want to. Um, I don't normally glue it down, but let's go ahead and zoom in. And I'll try to um, pull that down a little so you can really see what the lace front looks like. And of course, being a gray silver wig, you're not going to see any knots, but it, it looked like quality um, knotting of each individual hair. Um, if you had a darker color, you might see a little bit, but on this, you don't see anything at all. And let's go ahead and show you the sides. Now my hair is brown, so it does peek out at the edges so it doesn't come forward um, a whole lot but that's pretty common for me to have the very edges of my hair peek out and in the back there's not an extended nape it's just a normal nape and this is where those wefts are right at the base just to give it a little bit of fullness and stability and in a second, I'll take you inside and we'll look at the cap construction of this wig. But let's zoom in on the color. This color is gorgeous and it is called Silvery Moon. And the color code is SF51-60. And what that means is it's a Salon Frost, um, which is like a mixed color. And then a 51 is a 75% gray, 25% brown black mix. And then a 60 is a pure white, uh, gray, silvery white. So it's got mostly that gray, silvery white, and then a few strands of brown and black mixed in. So it's very beautiful and very natural. Then of course, the shake test. This. And this is a single monofilament. So it's not a double monofilament, 
which means there's slightly scratchy bits right here at the front. If you do have bald patches, that might irritate you, but it does give a very natural look. And then otherwise, it is hand tied into a mesh cap, and we'll look at the inside in a few minutes. But it is very nicely done, very high quality wig already. Let's go ahead and do a 360. So this is very sleek. There is no poofiness and um, I really, really like it. It is a wonderful fiber. It's a beautiful color and a lovely um, styled haircut. So I wish I'd bought it for myself. I actually got it for my mom whose hair is more this color. My issue is the edges of my own bio hair peek out and they're dark brown. Now, because of the color, you can kind of get away with it. And as long as I keep it forward, it should be fine. You could get a little bit of hair chalk or white hairspray or baby powder and disguise your edges a little bit if you were really committed. But all in all, I'm really happy with this one. It is gorgeous. The lace front is nicely done. Of course, it is a silver, um, hair fiber, so you're not gonna see those knots at the front. Let's go ahead and zoom in so you can see it. And it is pre-cut, so this is how it is straight out of the box. And then there are knots here. This is a single monofilament, which means there's only one layer of fabric netting. So you might see some of that doll hair effect. It's still um, a step up from a wefted wig where there's uh, lines, but it's not as nice as a double monofilament, which has two or three layers of mesh fabric. So those knots are hidden and each hair strand is pulled individually. These are still pulled individually, it's just that knot is still there and you can see it if you're really close, but I don't know who's staring at the top of your head that intently that that would matter. Let's talk about the color. This is a gorgeous, gorgeous, silvery white gray mix, and it is called Silvery Moon. It's very natural, very, attractive looking for both elderly women and young people. So it kind of works for everybody. If you're going for that young, modern, edgy, silver gray look that's kind of popular right now, this would work. Or if you're trying to blend in your own gray hair or it's just starting to transition from a brown to a gray, <clears throat> this could definitely work for you. Let's go ahead and look at the packaging and the cap construction of this new Polly Young wig. This is their couture collection, so it comes in a black box and it's a little bit larger. Normally they have smaller lavender boxes. This one says couture collection, 100% hand tied. And then the um, color style, I mean, the uh, wig style is sheer vogue and that is the style number. And then the color is silvery moon or SF5160. So it has um, specially branded tissue paper instead of Paula Young, it says Couture Collection. And then it comes in a hairnet. I've already taken this one out and tried it on, but it does come in your standard hairnet. You wanna hang on to that hairnet and store your wig in that all the time. And then the tissue paper as well. Um, I've got a little bit of static electricity going on, so normally it's not as um, wispy, but it is a very beautiful wig. It's a gorgeous, gorgeous color. It's a blend of 60, which is a silvery white color, and then a 51 is a gray blend of 75% light gray 
and 25% um, black and brown. So it's kind of a silvery pewter color and it is their SF or Salon Frost, which means there are highlights and lowlights built in. Let's look at the cap construction because that is the most exciting part of their couture collection. Now you do have to be careful because each um, style has a slightly different cap construction. So Sheer Heidi and Sheer Delight might be different than this one, which is Sheer Vogue. So this does have a lace front and it is a pre-cut lace that you don't necessarily have to glue down unless you really want to. Now it um, is a little scratchy with the knots here. If you're bald, that might irritate you. Then the ear tabs are a very soft felt lace and there are a few wefts or lines of wig um, right there at the ear tab. And then the inside is a stretchy mesh and this is all monofilament on the top <clears throat> as well as monofilament on the sides. and monofilament here in the back. And then very, um, at the very end, there are some wefts or lines of hair just at the nape so that it gets um, a thick, clear coverage for the back. And then it's also felt soft there. There are adjustable Velcro tabs to tighten it. So, very nicely done, and you can part it anywhere that you want. Now, you might have noticed when I had it on earlier, the kind of doll hair effect. Now, on the sides, they have two or three strands tied together in that monofilament style, but it's not technically monofilament because there's um, three or four um, hair fibers. Now, that's a common practice on the sides and back of most uh, monofilament wigs and when you have it on you don't see that dark knot because your um, own natural hair kind of hides that effect because it is a white cap to match the white gray hair but I didn't really notice any issues with the sides or back I'm looking unnatural it is a silky silky smooth fiber in a razor cut and it's very lightweight. It's their Whisper Light um, brand of Cancalon. And it's, it's just gorgeous. They've really, really stepped up their game with this line. So I would definitely recommend um, checking them out. And now I already cut my tags off, but it does come with um, little instructions. It is not heat safe, so you cannot use a curling iron on it. You could use um, some foam curlers and a steamer if you wanted to get the edges to curl under a bit more. I have a pretty large head and this one fit me very comfortably which is unusual for a monofilament wig but because these sides are so stretchy that's how it's accommodating various sizes of head. Here at the back you can kind of see more of that 51 where it's a little darker in the sense that it's a brown. <laughs> so kind of hard to describe and hopefully the light is picking up the actual color. There's no greenish tint, there's no bluish tint, there's no purple tint. It is pewter so it's like a pale 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 brown gray mixed with silvery. And right now they are on clearance because they have been out for about a year, year and a half. Uh, I had seen them and I really wanted them, but I wasn't willing to pay that $150, $200 price tag. This cost me 60 bucks and they have some as low as like 49. So just look around for the best price and often they have coupon codes for free shipping or 25% off. Right now they're running a President's Day sale, which I think applies to this one. So definitely check out that 25% off and I'll try to leave a, 
uh, a couple coupon codes down on the bottom that I just happened to get from their mailing list. So, not sponsored, I just happen to love their brand. And, and in the back, hello there. Um, so the, all right, baby. Oh, oh, hello, hello, you good boy. All right, go on, go on. As always, thank you for watching and don't forget to like, comment, or subscribe.